There's nothing better than boarding an airplane, settling into your seat, and hearing this announcement. Uh, just about ready to depart. We should be away on schedule in the next couple of minutes or so. Only to look over and see that you have an entire row to yourself. Nice. In today's video, I'll be running through the best tactics that have allowed me to choose my seat for free on every flight. I'll also be sharing my number one hack for solo travelers to get an entire row to themselves, which I'm pretty sure I have never told anyone before. If you've flown recently, then you probably noticed that being able to select your seat on an airplane has become a paid add-on, even in basic economy. Airlines are sneaky about this too, and they give you an option to select your seat without always making it clear that you may be paying extra to do so. You can almost always opt out of seat selection and save on your flight cost. Let's dive into every tactic that I have that has allowed me to pick my seat for free on over 100 flights. The first tip is to always skip paid seat selection when you go to purchase your flight. Done, easy, this one is simple. And then the simplest way to get your seat for free would be to wait until the 24 hour check-in window before your flight is set to depart. Many travelers don't know that you can usually select your seat for free during the 24 hour time period before your flight departs by going to the airline's website and entering your confirmation number to complete online check-in. At the same time of booking any new flight, I will always go to my calendar and set a notification to go off exactly 24 hours before the flight is set to depart. By doing this, I'm always one of the first people to check in for the flight, meaning I have the greatest selection of available seats. It is critical that you go in at the 24 hour mark as soon as online check-in opens, as everyone is able to book their seat for free on most airlines during this time. If you wait until 20 hours before the flight or 10 hours before the flight, you might be left with a poor selection of available seats. And if you don't know which seat you would like to select, then definitely subscribe and stay tuned for next week where I'm going to break down the best and the worst places to sit on the plane. You might be surprised. And here are some bonus hacks to not only get your preferred seat, but also get an entire row to yourself. During that 24 hour check-in window where you can select your seat for free, consider booking row 13 if you aren't superstitious because other people are superstitious and it's one of the least likely plane rows to be booked. I had no idea that major airlines like United, Lufthansa and Air France skip over row 13. While other big players like Delta, British Airways and American Airlines do have a row 13. So if you are flying with one of the airlines that does have a row 13, consider booking this as you may end up with the row to yourself. Let us know if you would select a seat in row 13 by leaving either yes 13 or no 13 in the comments down below. If it meant getting an entire row of seats to myself, then I would probably book row 13, but I am very curious to hear what you think. The next hack to get a row to yourself could work if you are fairly confident that the flight is not going to be full. This would be booking a single ticket in the middle seat. Selecting a middle seat as a solo traveler works because other travelers probably don't want to sit beside you either. I'm willing to bet that the best way to get an entire row to yourself as a solo traveler would be booking the middle seat in row 13. If you are flying at a popular time and you think it could be a full flight, then do not try this trick because in a case like that, no one is getting a free row or even a free seat beside them, which would leave you in a middle seat on a full flight. Not good. On the other hand, whether you think the flight is going to be full or not, if you are traveling as a couple, always, always, always book the aisle and the window seat instead of two seats beside each other. If the plane isn't full, then great, you get a row to yourself. It's highly unlikely someone is going to be willing to book the middle seat between two people. And then if the plane is full, whoever it is that got stuck with that middle seat is going to be more than happy to switch with one of you to have the aisle or the window instead. You can't lose. If for some reason you were not able to book the seat that you wanted during that 24 hour check-in window, here are a few more ways that you can still get the seat that you want. You can consider setting an alert for free seat notifications from expertflyer.com. All you have to do is enter your flight information and your seat preferences and you will be notified by email when a seat with your preferences becomes available. People change seats or cancel flights before takeoff all the time, so your chances of having a new seat become available are very high. 
And once you receive the email with a new seat availability, you can often go back online to the airline's website and complete the check-in process a second time so you can update it with your new seat selection, still for free. If you are not able to check in again, then you could always call the airline or head to an airline representative if you are already at the airport and ask them to change your seat. And assuming you are not on a jam-packed flight, the following option should help you change your seat for free. When you arrive at the airport, you can ask the check-in agent before you go through airport security if you're able to swap your seat for an aisle or a window or further up in the plane cabin, whatever it is that you would like. And if you have already gone through security, you can head to your gate and then speak to the agent there. Try to speak to them at least 30 minutes before the boarding is scheduled to start so they have time to work with you and change your seat. Also, if you speak to one agent and they say no, do not give up hope. It is truly up to the agent's discretion, assuming there are seats available, as to whether or not they will accommodate your request. So if one agent says no, speak to another agent. If there isn't another agent to speak to, call the airline. If everything I've mentioned so far fails and you're unable to change your seat in advance of your flight, definitely consider scoping out empty seats as you board the plane. Take note of where the empty seats are, but do head to your assigned seats for takeoff. This is just going to make the airline staff's job easier to be able to see who is still missing and who is on board. Once the plane is in the air post takeoff, you can ask one of the flight attendants if you're able to move to one of those empty seats. A simple psychology trick that you could use here is actually getting the agent to say no instead of saying yes. So for example, instead of saying, may I move to seat 18A? Say something like, is there any reason that I can't move to seat 18A? This means that you want the agent to say no, as in no, there's not any reason you shouldn't move there and you can go there. It's usually easier to get someone to say no than it is to get them to say yes. I usually take this a step further and will give the agent a good reason. After takeoff, once the seatbelt sign is turned off, I go to the back of the plane where the flight attendants are usually hanging out and will try this line. Hi, I was sitting over in 3B, but I think the woman beside me has a cat back home and my allergies are really acting up. Is there any reason that I can't switch to seat 18A instead? I noticed it was free. I have always been able to either pick my seat or change seats for free by using one of these tactics. And hopefully now that you know them as well, you will also be able to pick your seat of choice on your next flight for free. Don't forget to subscribe so you can join us back here for more travel tips and hacks, including next week's video with the best and the worst seats on the airplane. Thanks for watching. Safe travels. Bye.